Americans adore the Queen revealed. Queen Elizabeth II is reportedly down to her last two Kargis. Well, technically, they are Dodge's Kaji Dash Hunt crosses named Vulcan and Kenny. But as it turns out, Americans have fallen in love with Her Majesty's pampered pooches following the success of the Netflix series The Crown. The Pembroke Welsh Koshi has made the top 10 of American Kennel Club's rankings for the first time as viewers intimate the Queen. They're really darn cute, just fun to be with, says Bobby Lord, the New Jersey, who is a fan of Her Majesty. And Logan Milky Lee, owner of the dark friendly Boris and Houghton Cafe in Manhattan, says Kajis are the new it breed. Their proportions are ridiculous, their work is funny, and they are always smiling. And she said, adding, meetups of Kaji owners are the cafe's most popular events. No wonder the queen has owned more than 30 of the short legged pooches since her first puppy, Susan, in 1949. When Queen Elizabeth's last Kaji, Willow, passed away in 2018, it marked the end of an era. The monarch not only lost her one of their much-loved pet dogs, but it also was also her last. Willow's passing marked the first time in more than 70 years that Her Majesty has not owned a pet koshi, and he has no plans to get another one. The Queen's love for corgis started when she was a teen, ever since her 18th birthday when she was given Susan as a gift. Her Majesty bred Benbrook Welsh Cockies ever since and has owned more than 30 in her lifetime. Malty Roberts, one of the Queen's advisors, previously explained to Vanity Fair why the Queen didn't want to have any more young dogs. She didn't want to leave any young dog behind. She wanted to put an end to it, Monty said.